the tempest recording continued the revels the merry making the presentation of the spirits they end prospero asks ferdinand and miranda to retire to the cell he summons ariel and we continue from here spirit we must prepare to meet with caliban yes my commander while i was presenting the role of ceres so this is an evidence to suggest that ariel was playing the role of ceres i thought to have told thee of it i thought i should remind you about caliban's conspiracy but then i was afraid that i might made you angry by interfering with the presentation prospero says say again where did you leave these warlets 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 wicked unprincipled people i told you sir they were red hot with drinking red hot with drinking that means they were flushed their faces were red with drinking so they had drunk so much that their faces were red with drinking i told you sir they were red hot with drinking so full of mock valor mock valor mock courage when uh, people drink the effect of alcohol in intoxication is such that people they show mock courage they have the courage to fight with anyone challenge anyone and do incredible tasks so that is mock courage so full of mock valor that they smote the air they struck the air why did they strike the wind how dare you blow at my face for blowing at their faces so you understand how ridiculous it is that you are fighting with the wind why because the wind is blowing at your face they kicked the ground why for coming on their way so what uh, 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 what three instances examples does ariel give to show that they were extremely drunk number 1 they were flushed with drinking number 2 they were so full of mock valor that they struck the air for blowing at their faces and they kicked their ground for touching their feet yet always bending towards their project however foolish they behaved they never forgot the conspiracy they kept inclining towards the conspiracy project the conspiracy and then i beat my drum i started beating my drum and my drum charmed them like the unbacked colts like the untrained horses are charmed when they hear music in merchant of venice also we have the reference of how music can tame the wild so unbacked colts untrained colts when they do not have saddles on their back when horses get trained saddles are put on their back so like unbacked colts like untrained horses they pricked their ears they their ears became stiff and attentive advanced their eyelids their eyes wide open to notice from where the music was coming they lifted up their noses as if they tried to smell the music so they tried to smell music they tried to see the person they tried to uh, uh, erect their um, ears to attentively listen where the music was coming from and so i charmed their ears that they followed me like a calf follows the lowing or the call of its mother cow so they followed me they so two examples given one of untrained colts and number two like a calf follows the lowing of its mother cow they followed and i made them pass through thorny bushes and shrubs i made them pass through thorny bushes and shrubs to thet briars sharp furzes picking gorse and thorns so all means thorny bushes and shrubs which entered their frail shins frail means weak shins means feet and at last i left them in the filthy mantled pool filthy mantled pool that is in the dirty pond which is behind your cell the pond which is covered with filth dirt and scum mantled matlab covered with dirt and scum which is behind your cell and they were submerged in the pond so this is how i hypnotized them with my music that they did not even realize that they were drowned in a filthy scum covered pond submerged in the pond submerged up to their chins prospero says this was well done my bird my darling your shape invisible retain thou still so maintain your invis- invisible shape bring the trumpery in my the trumpery in my house attractive garments 
bring the attractive garments from my house we know that prospero was a king and kings wear ornamental garments so bring those garments from my house to go bring it here for sale i will use them as a trap to catch these thieves why because they were drowned they were dirty so they would be attracted by such clothes ariel says i go i go immediately and exit prosperous says a born devil on whose nature now who is a born devil here caliban is a born devil a natural devil so he is a natural devil on whose nature nurture cannot stick nurture any kind of breeding any kind of education it will never stick it will never stick that is he will never accept or imbibe any education any good breeding on whom i have taken i had taken pains humanly the humanly that is out of human affection i had taken pains what pains he had taken he had taken pains of educating him of civilizing him he acted like a beast before that he did not know his own meaning all all lost quite lost all my efforts in vain and as with his age as with age his body becomes uglier his mind also corrupts like cancer i will trouble them all even to roaring i will cause give them so much pain so much pain they will roar in pain re enter ariel loaden with glistering apparels so carrying uh, apparels glistering apparels come hang them on this line so ariel says hang them on this lime lime has two meanings lime tree we know there was a lime tree which uh, which acted as a boundary a fence to prospero cell so hang them on the lime so lime tree or clothes line rassi uh, uh, kapla sukhane ka rassi so hang them on the clothes line prospero and ariel remain invisible enter caliban stefano and trinkillo they are all wet caliban says pray you tread softly so caliban he knows that they need to be careful as uh, prospero's magic was so powerful that if he became if he was alerted he could easily uh, easily control them with their magic so he says pray you tread softly walk softly so that the blind mole he calls prospero a blind mole because prospero is is living in a cave so uh, calls him a blind mole this shows his disgust his hatred for prospero he may not hear a footfall otherwise if he wakes up he will punish us we are now near his cell so we need to be utterly careful so stefano is angry why stefano is angry because monster caliban your fairy uh, here we know the fairy is ariel but stefano not, does not know it is ariel stefano only knows that it is some invisible spirit who was playing music very charming music and music which had charmed them and why does he say that which you say is a harmless fairy when did caliban say that it was a harmless fairy remember caliban uh, told them not to be uh, not to be frightened uh, because the island was full of music remember he said this island is full of music so refers to that because he says that harmless spirits are there in the island so you said that your spirit is a harmless spirit but see it has done little better than played the jack played the jack matlab how it has tricked us so see how it has tricked us made us a fool do you hear monster if i take a displeasure against you if i get angry then look you what will happen to you trinkilo completes the sentence you will become a lost monster you will be ruined or you will be extinct good my lord give me thy favor still give me thy favor still that is please give me your good favor keep me in your good books be patient because the prize i will bring you to shall cover the mischance shall cover the misfortune you will forget the misfortune once you get the prize here prize is miranda okay i will bring thee to shall hoodwink this mischance so you will forget this misfortune what misfortune uh, thorns had entered their shins there and uh, they were drowned or submerged in the filthy mantle pond so you shall forget this therefore speak softly all is hushed as midnight all is quiet as midnight and prospero should not be awakened trinkilo says yes but to lose our bottles in the pool so trinkilo regrets losing the bottle in the pool he does not regret the disgrace and dishonor of drowning in the pool but uh, stefano and trinkilo both term 
the loss of bottle as infinite loss and if a person drowns in a dirty pool in a uh, then there is disgrace and dishonor why because being wet in the dirty pond so he says there is not only disgrace and dishonor that means i would have tolerated the disgrace and dishonor of falling in a filthy pool but i what i cannot tolerate is the infinite loss of the bottles so trinculo says that is more to me that means more to me what means more to me losing of the bottles means more to me than my wetting than drowning in the filthy pond i can tolerate drowning in the filthy pond but i cannot tolerate losing the bottles so we see that it's completely uh, different with them yet this is your harmless fairy so how can you call the fairy that spirit a harmless spirit i will fetch off my bottle though i be over years for my labor over years matlab though i have to get submerged in the pond in the pool i will fetch my bottles so caliban says prithi my king be quiet see you here this is the mouth of the cell so caliban says be quiet because you see we are near the entrance of the cell so no noise and enter do that good mischief good mischief is an example of oxymoron two contradicting words placed side by side good and mischief okay so this is an example of oxymoron so do that good mischief do that good so happy fault is another uh, example of oxymoron happy tears is another uh, example of oxymoron okay so do that good mischief uh, which may make this island so good mischief is conspiracy which may make this island yours forever and i your caliban shall be your foot licker i shall be your loyal slave okay so stefano says give thy hand i am getting to have bloody thoughts so i am having murderous thoughts i am having i am having ferocious thoughts i am going to kill someone okay so trinculo says o king stefano o peer o worthy stefano o friend o dear stefano look what a collection of clothes here it is for you wardrobe collection of clothes it's here for you and this refers to the uh, to the decorative clothes that caliban had hung on the lime tree okay so what was the word used for that trumpery okay trumpery was the word used for that caliban says let it alone you fool it is trash it is rubbish it is worthless trinculo says oh monster don't teach me we know what belongs to a frippery frippery that is what is old and worthless with what is there in an old clothes store that means we know what is worthless and we know what is worthy so don't teach us we know what belongs to an old clothes store that means we know what is worthless and we know what is worthy o king stefano stefano says take off that gown trinculo take the take off that gown from the lime tree trinculo and by this hand i swear i will have that gown i want that gown trinculo says your grace shall have that gown caliban says that dropsy drown the fool so may he have swellings all over his body so caliban curses trinculo for his foolishness what do you mean by doting on such luggage doting matlab desiring such luggage that is such stuff so what do you mean to dote on such luggage dote that is why are you showing desire for such needless objects for such needless weight so stuff which is uh, only going to add weight but no other value it's luggage so it's nothing but a needless weight do the murder first if prospero is awake awakened from toe to crown from feet to head he will fill our skins with pinches full of bites and he will make us strange stuff with his magic he will convert us into strange creatures stefano says be you quiet monster and then he turns to the uh, lime tree and says mistress lime oh dear lime tree can i take this jacket is this not my jacket can i please take this jacket uh, he pretends to be courteous now is the jacket under the line so line remember line means clothes line and line also means equator now there was a belief that when the sailors crossed the equator when the sailors crossed the equator they turned bald because they contracted a very mysterious disease the moment they crossed the line of the equator they turned bald so this 
equal line means equator so he is joking he says that because you have crossed the line you will turn bald i hope you got that okay so jerkin under the line now jacket you will certainly lose your hair hair that is fur you will lose your fur and you will prove to be a bald jacket why because there was a belief that when sailors crossed the line they contracted a mysterious disease and they lost the lost their hair they turned bald so he is joking here okay he is in a very light mood trinculo says do we steal by line and level and now trinculo exhibits his wit he says line and level means according to rules and regulations so if you do something according to rules and regulations if you do something systematically even if you do fraud in a systematic way you will not be caught so he says we are stealing but we are stealing by such line and level in so so systematically that nobody can blame us and here wit kya hai line and level so line and level dono ka matlab hai lime tree ya clothes line to clothes line line hum log line se steal kar rahe hain matlab hum log rules se steal kar rahe hain to do meaning hai line se steal kar rahe hain matlab clothes line clothes line se steal kar rahe hain aur line se steal kar rahe hain iska matlab rules and regulations follow karke steal kar rahe hain so just uh, an exhibition of wit do you like my do you like your grace does this please you do you like my wit mera remark acha laga stefano ko bahut acha laga stefano kya bolta hai i thank thee for that humor i thank you for such a wit for such a witty remark here is a garment for thee wo isko ek garment de deta hai bolta hai ye lo rakho to hum logo ko pata hai ki stefano already king ke jaise behave kar raha hai wo already bol ke rakha hai pehle bhi kya ki tumko hum लेफ्टिनेंट बना देंगे तुमको हम काउंसलर बना देंगे सबको वो ऑलरेडी वो किंग की तरह बिहेव कर रहा है राइट सो बोल हियर टेक अ गारमेंट फॉर इट विच शैल नॉट गो अनरिवॉर्डेड इन वाई आई एम द किंग सो वाई आई एम रूलिंग आई एम अ वर्दी किंग एंड आई अप्रिशिएट पीपल्स विट आई अप्रिशिएट स्किल सो आई विल नॉट लेट विट गो अनरिवॉर्डेड एज लॉन्ग एज आई एम द किंग ऑफ दिस कंट्री स्टील बाय लाइन एंड लेवल इज एन एक्सेलेंट पास ऑफ पेट एक्सेलेंट पास ऑफ पेट मतलब विटी रिमार्क वॉट अ विटी रिमार्क दिस इज Okay, this is a very witty remark. Here is another garment. I am so happy. Take this. Uh, take one more garment. Okay, so he gives him one more garment. So Trinculo says, "Monster, come, put some lime upon your fingers." यहाँ पे भी दो मीनिंग है लाइम. पहले हंटर्स लोग क्या करते थे? एक स्टिकी सब्सटेंस लगाते थे ट्विग्स पे. Spread on the twigs, branches पे. स्टिकी सब्सटेंस लगाते थे जिसमें छोटी सी चिड़िया होती थी उनका पाव फंस जाता था उस स्टिकी सब्सटेंस में तो वो है वो था लाइम और दूसरा लाइम किस लिए तुम लाइम ट्री से क्लोथ्स उतारोगे तो लाइम ट्री को टच करोगे तो तुम्हारे लाइम लाइम ट्री का मतलब वो पाउडर या रस लग गया तुम्हारे हाथ में तो ये हो गया पुट सम लाइम अपॉन योर फिंगर्स तो पुट सम लाइम अपॉन योर फिंगर्स मतलब क्या टच द लाइम ट्री और दूसरा क्या लाइम अपॉन योर फिंगर का ये वाला एक पुराना रेफरेंस तो ये क्या है नथिंग बट दीज आर ऑल शो ऑफ विट ओके इज जस्ट दीज आर जस्ट शो ऑफ विट एंड अवे विद द रेस्ट सो टेक सम क्लोथ्स एंड अवे विद द रेस्ट सो कैलेबन सेज आई विल हैव नन ऑफ इट वी आर लूजिंग टाइम एंड सून इफ प्रोस्पेरो अवेकन्स ही विल टर्न अस इन टू बार्निकल्स बार्निकल्स मीन्स स्ट्रेंज क्रिएटर्स बार्निकल्स मीन्स स्ट्रेंज क्रिएटर्स इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ अ शेल्फ इज but you can write he will turn us into strange creatures he will turn us into apes with foreheads villainous low foreheads villainous low that is hum log ka neck hai ab socho kisi insaan ka neck nahi ho aur aur shoulder se is gardan nikal jaye to wo kitna ridiculous kitna lagega to disproportionate head he will make turn us into monsters creatures with disproportionate head into ridiculous monsters he will change us into ridiculous creatures Stefano says monster lay to your fingers lay to your fingers means give your helping hand help to bear this uh, luggage away where my hogshead of wine is where my barrel of wine is you we know that he had hit the barrel in the rocks near the shore so please carry these uh, clothes to where i had kept the barrel of wine if you do not listen to me i will turn you out of my kingdom i will banish you go carry this trinculo gives some more garments and says this as well stefano and this a noise of hunters heard these hunters are spirits we know hunters have dogs so these some spirits take the shape of hunters other spirits take the shape of dogs enter different spirits in shape of dogs and hounds so some spirits are in the shape of 
hunters other spirits in the sh- are in the shape of wild dogs they hunt them about they chase and bite these three uh, mis- these three uh, conspirators prospero and ariel setting them on setting them them matlab the dogs setting them matlab instigating the dogs so prospero and ariel instigating the dogs to bite these three conspirators hey mountain silver fury tyrant these are names of dogs there there hark hark listen listen so listen they are shouting so they are being uh, hunted out so listen they are shouting out loud so caliban stefano and trinculo are driven out and then go charge my goblins goblins are strange creatures they are dwarf like mis- dwarf like mystical creatures they are shown in uh, harry potter so dwarf like mystical creatures go and charge my goblins that they grind their joints that they uh, twist their joints and they cause pain in their joints and with dry convulsions and they also give them cramps shorten up the sinews matlab cramps sinews matlab muscles muscles and shorten up the sinews ka matlab cramps aged cramps matlab cramps which old people experience so may they suffer from bites and cramps may they suffer from bites and cramps and pain in the joints and more pinch spotted pin spotted matlab bite marks or sting marks than the leopard make them more uh, pin spotted than the leopard or the cat mountain we know that leopard have spots on them but bite these people in such a way that they have more spots than the leopards or the ca- cat of the mountain or the mountain cat hark they roar listen they are roaring in pain prospero let them be hunted thoroughly at this hour lie at my mercy all mine enemies caliban stefano trinculo on one side and alonso uh, stefano and antonio on the other side so we know that alonso stefano and antonio had been distracted in the banquet scene and lie all my enemies at all my at my mercy all mine enemies shortly soon shall my labors end all my efforts will come to an end and this uh, illusion will come to a conclusion and you shall have an air of freedom and ariel i shall free you for a little follow and do me service but for a little while please follow and do me service this is the end of act 4 i hope this was helpful to you uh, i am not so uh, technically sound uh, in youtube recordings so video recording so i hope you will bear with me and please keep supporting so that we continue with the syllabus thank you so much